Kelly Ehrenberg has been gracing the covers and pages of magazines since a young age and has enjoyed a career unbatched by most. No longer a globe-trotting supermodel, her life today is slightly less glamorous, but no less enjoyable. Married with a grown daughter and two young sons, Kelly is also a serious gardener who champions healthy foods and is fast becoming a radio and internet star. We met Kelly in her home and garden where she shared with us her love for gardening, healthy eating, and the joy she receives from sharing her knowledge with others. So, you know, being a model and, you know, you're, you, I know you were at one time married to Rod Stewart. Everybody knows me. Well, we right? weren't actually married. Oh, you weren't actually no. married. T together seven years and, and I had children. my little Ruby, yeah, Ruby okay. Stewart. And then yeah. you have some other children as well. I have two boys, Tyler, 15, and Cole, 12. Now, do you feed so them things lucky. out of the garden? Absolutely. I wish they would work more in the garden with me. <laughs> right. So tell me the premise yeah. of this. Is this all organic that you're doing All here? organic. If you're going to grow, you might as well do that, right? I mean, right. you can go to well, the grocery work, store. Right? If you, you just have to keep up on it. And it, it, if you get everything right, you know, you have the right sun and the right soil and the right plant in the right place. You don't have the, the bugs and the disease. So you can avoid some of that just by following a few simple directions. You started doing this quite a long time ago. Well, you know, I, I grew a little bit years and years ago okay. when I first started modeling. So I started with herbs. And okay. then I and then I was just so busy. Well, were you modeling. into cooking at the time? Because I mean, herbs cooking generally goes You know, I learned how to make some jam, which Rod thought was amazing. When I first met him, he's like, you make your own jam? You know? Wow. So I was like, that's all I make. They always <laughs> say, uh, what is it, a uh, way to a man's heart is through his stomach? <laughs> yeah. He thought, you know, I don't know, making your own jam sounded really cool. Yeah. Anyway. And once I started growing, that was it. I was hooked. Yeah. And, I, and then I I thought I need to teach the world to grow yeah. because even if it's on the simplest level like it's a tomato plant people don't understand first of all we go to the grocery store and you just pulled you know, whatever you want from the produce department right it's just too easy people don't think about what did that plant look like how hard was it to grow that how hard is it to grow organically in a big way you know what I mean um, what's the nutrients in the vegetables and they vary and what happens and they do they vary extensively the yeah. way we're growing in my show i try to to find things where if you do want to yeah alternative tips um because if you don't have the fine if you can't grow year round right. um and if you can't afford to buy everything organically then there's certain things that you should buy organically that yeah. are going to get all the pesticides or and, and, and you're going to ingest them like lettuces and celery it's heavy, heavy strawberries are a big one uh, strawberries yeah and um apples yes so, but then there's other things like oranges, you can peel the skin. So there's, a little safer. Yeah. So when's the show on? Is it on at any time? How does it's that work? It's an evergreen format. It's okay. an app that you download onto your phone, your computer, your iPad, iHeartRadio app, and then you just, I'm food made simple, simply okay. growing, cooking, and simply understanding your food. And that's it, Kelly Emberg, the model gardener. And what I love about it is I get to learn with everybody because I have experts on my show. Uh, before I had my show, even I, even though I was growing, I would walk into the grocery store and I'd go, gosh, what what eggs should I buy? And I'm like, okay, right. what is that? Cage-free, free-range, you know, pastured. So this show's helped me, it helped me tremendously, and I'm, I'm wanting to help everyone else. Well, saying. you know, having the younger kids, too, oh, yeah. has it been a challenge for them to eat the, all the vegetables and organics, or do you have some tricks? Well, uh, tricks, hmm. Well, tricks you know, is like, you're eating this. Yeah. Yeah, tricks is like, <laughs> I'm your mom, trick. that's it, right? That's all that's in the house, sorry. <laughs> okay. no, um, no, my, it's funny you ask because Cole, he's my 12 year old, yeah. and he's had a little bit. I mean, he's not ADD. I, I, I don't want to label him, but he's right. had concentration problems in school. And so I went to a naturopath and I kind of took out all dairy because a lot of people are allergic to dairy oh, yeah. since the enzyme when you pasteurize milk is gone. So no dairy, no sugar, and that's in fruit juices and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I too. agree. And no gluten. Yeah. And so I took all that out of our diets, and I said, I'll do it with you, honey. Because, you know, and I said, the whole family's going to do it, but it was just me you know, <laughs> in the end that did it the right, right. way. And I noticed a big difference. So I, I see it firsthand. I mean, I also had hyperthyroidism um, a years back, and they wanted me to kill my thyroid from the inside out with a, a radioactive Radiation. Yeah. Yeah, a pill. And I thought, well, wait. So I can't be next to my kids for 48 hours. I have to wash the sheets. I, you know all the clothes that I have on, I can't touch anybody. I, mean, I don't think that sounds very good. Right. So sounds I- Sounds scary. It sounds really scary. Yeah. So I did, I changed my diet and I don't have any more. Good job. Yeah. And on my show, which I love, I have a food miracle segment and I try to find people that have, you know, miracles that they, they ate a certain way and it changed their life. 
and it's I think it's really inspiring because it's it's my favorite part of the show. I think you just figured it out. It's like right. the kids are gonna do what you do if you're a good example for them, right? And they understand it too. Yeah. It's about education. Absolutely. You know, so. And it goes the other way too, by the way. Yeah. If you're doing something maybe not so good, maybe the kid will emulate that. That's true. So, so you I gotta are, watch that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch it, right? <laughs> we all have to watch there. No. Right on. That's great. Well, thanks so much for having us here. Well, thanks uh, for having me. You know, it's like uh, living the lifestyle. This is the yeah. dream. You're living the dream. And I think anyone could have whatever they want. They just have to go for it. That's another thing. I think they have Absolutely. to believe and just do it. Now, what is it that you just always say on your show? There's a statement you were telling me you always say on um, your show. Thanks for caring about you. Thanks for caring about you. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Whatever you ingest is who you're going to be. Absolutely. You know, and people forget that part. You know, that's your health. Sure that's do. your everything. Well, if you think about it. The best way to help someone else is to have a great you. Yeah, exactly. You so have to you're care doing about yourself. It. Yeah. And you're helping people. I appreciate that so much. Yeah. And thanks so much for having us. Oh, thanks. It. Thanks. And thank you so much for being here with us. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.